वेलकम टू होम डिकोर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट वॉल पेपर फॉर लिविंग रूम वॉल पेपर ऑर्नामेंटल एंड यूरेटेरियम कवरिंग फॉर वॉल मेड फ्रॉम लॉन्ग शीट्स ऑफ पेपर दैट हैव बीन सेंटेंसल पेंटेड और प्रिंटेड विद एब्सट्रैक्ट और नेरेटिव डिजाइन वॉल पेपर डिवेलप सून आफ्टर द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पेपर मेकिंग टू यूरोप ड्यूरिंग द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी आल्सो इट इज ऑफन इज यूम दैट द चाइनीज इन्वेंटेड वॉल पेपर there are no evidence that it was an general use in asia any earlier than time of its appearance in europe the earliest wallpaper in england and france were hand painted and sentenced During the 17th century decorative techniques also included block printing flocking a process whereby powdered wool and metallic powder were scattered over the paper on which the design had been drawn with a slow drying adhesive or varnish the oldest existing example of flocked wallpaper comes from rockster and was created in approximately 1680 contemporary with flock work were painted chinese paper in europe towards the end of 17th European market the absence of repeat and repetitive design created when single sheet are juxtaposed on the wall and the studied dissimilarity of detail between one length and another gave them a unique quality that was highly prized European copies produced by etched plates or wood blocks with color applied by hand or sentences were usually inferior to the originals because of their beauty and cost lineness a large number of original chinese paper has been preserved and fine example can be seen at north sells priority north yorkshire and bedshire area during the 18th century the wall paper During the 18th century, wallpaper manufacture developed far beyond the expectation of early makers. From the very beginning, wallpaper had been regarded as substitute for tapestry, painted cloth, leather, and wood paneling. And the first wallpaper were esteemed because they so cleverly and inexpensively stimulated the appearance of more costly hangings. Later designs, however, expressed the decorative possibilities inherent in the medium itself. In France and England, new and varied style become available. patterns satin grounds strips mentioned but a few and technical advances were making wallpaper more widely accessible in 1785 christopher philip ober kfm invented the first machine from printing wall paper 1785 and shortly thereafter leus robert designed a process for manufacturing endless rolls
during the 18th century, wallpaper manufacture developed far beyond the expectation of early makers. From the very beginning, wallpaper had been regarded as substitute for tapestry, painted cloth, leather and wood paneling and the first wallpaper were esteemed because they so cleverly and inexpensively stimulated the appearance of more costly hangings. Later designs however expressed the decorative possibilities inherent in the medium itself in France and England. A new and varied style become available. Patterns, satin gown, crepe mentioned but are few. And technical advances were making wallpaper more widely accessible. In 1785, Christopher Philip Oberkefem invented the first machine from printing wall paper. 1785, and shortly thereafter, Leos Robert designed a process for manufacturing endless rolls. French supremacy in design and execution reached its apex during the early part of 19th century with flock papers and distempered colored papers of Jean Baptiste Revillian and panoramic decorations by Joseph de Fiore. By this time, French wallpapers used not only Paysage country landscape design but also stimulated architecture rate forms, articular forms such as uh, molding, columns and capitals and narrative theme can call for special experience in hanging to match the scene accurately. Advances in the production of design of English wallpaper reached their zenith in the mid 19th century. Machine printed wallpaper first appeared in 1840 at the firm printed in Lancashire and with the work of William Morris and the art and craft of movement created the revolution in wallpaper design. Morris design for the medium which first appeared in 1862 were characterized by flat, stylist, neutralistic pattern and rich, subdued colors. His work and progressive designs of Walter Crane coexisted, however, with the more traditional taste expressed in the work of A.W. and Pugin Huntington, who designed the wallpaper in Catholic and Rocco style as late as 1860s.
the next 100 years few advance took place in the wallpaper industry the 1950s and 60s however brought more developments in the wallpaper design and manufacture than any previous period new process enabled designers to decorate wallpaper with progressive and high speed techniques were developed for the more traditional screen printing and wood block method the wallpaper industry has kept a breast of modern trends in design producing papers that range from reproductions of the William Morris original designs to those reflecting the latest fashion in the visual art improvements in the durability and maintenance of wallpaper have been achieved through the use of plastic coating paper matted or flatted sheet usually made of cellulose fibers forms and wired for the benefit of longer term use a brief treatment of wallpaper follows the full treatment see a paper uh, making paper making formation of matted and felted sheets usually a cellulose fibers from water suspension on a wire screen paper is a basic material used for written communication and dismantled in formation paper and paper board provided material for the hundreds of years and now wrapping and now the wallpaper industry is emerging in europe and across the america new history has been started for this home decor industry uncertainty especially when it comes to decorating how do you make your space look its best while reflecting your personal sense of style do it well or you'll end up with a comfortable happy home do it poorly and you will end up with a hodgepodge of furniture fabrics and paint colors that never congeal into a pleasing hole with a little planning and by following the same steps used by professional interior designers you will have much greater chance of success so what are the these steps interior design laying the ground work the reach of finish line you first have to know where you are going don't start in the furniture store many have heard the advice of avoid grocery shopping when you are hungry because it leads to poor choice the same hold true for furniture stores don't go shopping in a panic just because you have an empty home yes you need a sofa but if you pick the pink stripes sectional just because you like it in the store without measurement or thinking about the rest of the room you are stuck with it the rest of the room will have to be built around that sofa and if it's that the wallpaper the colors the theme the lining the type of wallpaper intended decorate stairs column radiators good idea my ear window opening along with the wall space the first mistake most people make is that they buy things that are the wrong size sofas color styles wallpaper hangings wallpaper material wallpaper textures the lighting effect so so many things should be considered when creating a floor plan once you have a measurements of your room it's the time to put them to use with a floor plan that gives you a bird's eye view of the entire home every job should start with a floor plan said alexa hompan the president of mark hampton the new york inter designer firm Home decor, home decor, lot of videos.
Installing wallpaper yourself 11 tips for hanging wallpapers without losing your mind. Installing wallpaper doesn't need to leave you in tears. Don't be intimidated by this project. Read on to find out the most real life helping tips for avoiding yourself. Now that is face of one happy DIY ING mama after I finally finished installing this Georgius wallpaper mural in my daughter's new big girl room. But I gotta be real with you and tell you that I wasn't exactly thrilled during the project. Installing wallpaper isn't for the faint of heart and this actually wasn't my first radio with the either. In fact, I tackled this budget friendly DIY project of wallpaper with a Georgius peel and stick wallpaper in my neighbor's powder room makeover last summer. Two entirely different method of installing wallpaper in living room but they both had some common themes so I wanted to share those tips with you in hopes that keeps you from making some common mistakes while you installing living room wallpaper that come along with trying hang wallpaper yourself. These walls was blank slate just begging for little DIY upgrade to make it a real focal point in my daughter's room. When I stumbled upon this beautiful floral wallpaper I knew it was the perfect statement maker coming in four different designs of my daughter's living room home wallpaper modern wallpaper latest wallpaper vintage wallpaper 200 best wallpaper so what is the best advice for hanging wallpaper yourself wallpaper has memory undo it before you begin so living room of wallpapers is a very serious job and here is the second tip i followed The way first thing you want to do is take the time to unroll all your wallpaper and re-roll it reverse to eliminate the two hands better that two one than one. It probably goes without saying, but it's always a great idea to have a little help installing wallpaper when you get it. My sweet best friend who has absolutely zero DIY experience was nice enough to get into weeds with me on this project having someone unroll the living room a wallpaper different type uh, designs modern wallpaper leveling it up this was about the time that i had a total face palm movement in our wallpaper hanging adventures i started to get the hang of pasting and was halfway through the install when i realized i didn't align it level in the beginning see that lovely looking gap in the top right corner of the wall yep that was the result of not starting a level beginning with your first roll make sure that each strip is vertically level on the wall which mine was but 
in the living room wallpaper designs modern designs latest designs wallpaper in living room and simply lining the edges up right at the ceiling didn't cut it by the way no wall is ever level guys after leveling your paper to the wall make sure that you overlap the living room wallpaper designs modern aesthetic wallpaper for living room this give you enough overhang to work through any troubling uneven walls and ceiling thank you so much for watching this a useless video for 20 minutes if you are listening my voice at this time you are one of the greatest person in this universe and thank you so much just do a comment below and press like button and if you want you have a so much patience please press the subscribe button thank you so much take care best of luck in your home decor ventures